Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You what? You fucking what? Get a load of that. Holy shit. Okay, we've got some spidery boys. Okay, anything I need to be on the lookout for? There's a purple thing over there and a... Huh, what do they mean? I have no idea. But sugar, we're going down. I'm gonna shoot you from up here. <laughs> oh god. You fucker. That went well. Wait, I'm out of ammo? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Here we come. Fucked it. I need health. God damn it, let me fucking execute you. How? Oh my god, please. Just let me execute one of you. One of you. A single one, please. Oh my god. Never am I ever lucky. There we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck are those? I have absolutely no idea. I'll take it. I will certainly take it. Wait, this is not gonna work, is it? Shit! Shit! Oh, we fucked it now! Really? Really? <laughs> really? What a series of events! What a fucking series of events! So fucking dead. Oh my goodness. How much fucking health can you possibly have? Holy shit, <laughs> that was tough. Oh, there's another. Oh wait, no. My goodness. <laughs> Thank God for these one-ups, fuck me. Fuck me, that is brutal. 
How the fuck do people play this on harder difficulties? At least I remembered to use the, uh... The thing, whatever you call it. The flamethrower. But, Jesus. <laughs> More. I keep going in for the glory kill too early. Dash refill. Grab a dash refill. This is not the time to be teaching me about this game. To completely refill the dash meter. Okay. Not the time. Literally any time, except when <laughs> I'm fighting a fuckload of enemies. going then? Over there? No, that's where we just came from. Up here. Okay. Surprise! Ha! <laughs> How much fucking... That was a boop and a half. I'm hoping the level naturally leads us over there. But I don't know if it's going to. But it totally could. Whatever. I guess we'll find out. That only sounded like I picked up two. Oh my god, this is cool. Don't mind if I do. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. What is that? All about that. Wait, looks like there's a drop down. Oh. Hello. It's one of these. Secret encounters. Secret encounters are optional timed encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in a secret encounter will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry, but it awards a weapon. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Wait, did I not get that armor? Why did I not get that armor? <laughs> I feel like I might have missed that one over there. Oh well. Boing. Nice sword. Oh, this is gloopy. This is very gloopy. Tentacle motherfuckers, don't you do it. Ah! Oh, 
Oh my god, what is this shit? Oh, the pop in the head! Nasty. Nasty stuff. Oh, this is going to be an interesting encounter with this fucking fire thing. Jesus Christ. Wait, I can't jump because... Oh, fuck, I forgot. Oh, that makes that so much worse if you can't jump to avoid it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hello. Why, well, yes, I will take all of that. Thank you. Nice, 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 nice. God damn this stuff. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. How do I get out of here? I have no idea. Just have to walk over here, I guess? That didn't seem like it was possible to kill that guy before he killed you in that scenario with no way of jumping or anything. No maneuver, no maneuverability. You just had to take every punch he gave because you couldn't get out of the way. How did that help me? I have no fucking idea. Oh. Can I... No? I came through here, right? Yeah. How the fuck did this help me? Oh, get over there. Right. Donk. Very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. That whole section behind me does not look like it's going to be happening. Although, it also looks like it's behind rocks, so I can't actually see it. Hmm. Oh well. Do I jump from here to there? I guess. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Fucking parkour up in here. Not more of this shit. There's probably some secret around the corner though, isn't there? Yup. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm glad I got that one and then never use it. <laughs> I feel like health is just the way to go. Uh, 
As long as you're max health, all health pick up. And that's never going to happen, though. I'm never going to be at max health. Let's just go with this one and try and remember to use fucking flamethrower more. That is what we're going to try and do. I was waiting for another fucking tentacle to pop up then. Didn't happen. Thank you, God. Ah. I see. These platforms have a fuck you button. Oh, we are going over here, are we? Oh, God. What is this? I have no idea. Can you not, though? <laughs> Get fucked. It takes six bullets to do that. Good to know, I guess. If this is here, that implies we should have something that can make use of this by now, but we don't. So that's kind of worrying. Did I miss something? I very much hope not. Didn't think you could jump down. Turns out, can totally jump down. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh. Okay, bounce pad. <laughs> Not what I expected. Whee! That's cool. Part 3. With machine and enchantment of the makers, the Argenta brought our newfound clarity to disparate realms of the Empyrean Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of the Khan Maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and peoples unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels, and fought for the freedom of all peoples from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil, not our own, the blood we shed in foreign lands safeguarded Argent de Nur and the sons and daughters that defended it. Through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed, and our beliefs became their own. Our armies swelled. As the Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets, the Khan of the Makers approached King Rowan on his throne. He sensed his god restless by her disquiet manner. The King and Khan spoke, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism in the blood of the Argenta. A test would be required to identify its host among us. She spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of our warriors. Only those that proved worthy would be tested, for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient of our legion. The Divinity Machine, a great tribute by Maker Scolaris, would help us to cleanse any impurities from our flock, ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the Maker Realm that awaited in the afterlife. The Malicious One, if not exhumed from our ranks, would jeopardise our safe passage to the heavenly realm of Erdak. The Dark One was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the Mother God, through divination and Maker Sight, would determine when he stood before them. The Makers were truth, and only their unclouded eyes could find the one who was marked. The prophecy of the Unholy One was written, but through the ages the warning grew faint until only the Khan Maker herself and the High Priests of the Ordered Dayag still whispered of he that would one day come to threaten their way of light. Huh. So I assume that's us. The impure one that eventually gets created. Uh, lost Soul. The lost soul has its origin among the damned, former humans who have fallen from the mortal world, doomed to an unliving eternity as sin-branded slaves of hell. The damned are seemingly endless in number, their populations growing by the thousands with each rise of the black sun. 
For many, the torturous existence of crushing slave labour is all that awaits. The bodies of the damned are brittle, and those who had become broken in labour, their bodies ruined, dismembered, or otherwise incapable of servitude, are transported to the pits where their souls must be extracted for further use. Those fortunate enough to escape this process are what inevitably become lost souls, their spirits transmogrified into physical form. The lost soul knows only madness, its memory a haunted image of its former mortal life. These creatures live a fleeting existence, roaming mindlessly, seeking only that which can grant them a final death. Nice. <laughs> Just get rid of that exclamation mark. Cool, okay, where are we headed? We are headed kind of over there, but also like up and behind us. Something. I don't know. That's going to break when we jump on it. We know that. This is that thing. Okay. Nothing else to see. Feels like that's it. Okay. Oh! Oh god! Bye bye! <laughs> you love to see it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, this is a fucking thing. Slayer Gate. Slayer Gates are optional, intense encounters. Ammo and extra lives spent in a Slayer Gate will not be restored afterwards. Completion awards three weapon points and an Empyrean Key. Each Slayer Gate is unlocked with a Slayer Key, which is near the gate. Well, there's that fucking purple thing over there, but apparently that wasn't anything we could use yet. LOL! Oh wait, it's just over there. You can actually see it. Oh, right. How do I get up there then? Huh. Not like that. I thought maybe if you did it from extra high, Do you, have, do you have to go further in here and then jump back? Yeah, that's it. That is most certainly it. You fucker. <laughs> Doink. Slayer key. Complete all six Slayer gates. Completing all six Slayer gates unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. What the fuck is that? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Oh boy, this is going to go great. I can already tell. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh Christ. Just 
desperately trying to get fucking health here. They keep dying too fast. No. Oh, that hurts me too. Right, yeah. Got it. Loud and clear. What is this purple shit that I can't pick up, though? That's the real question. Holy mother of God. That'll do it. That'll get the job done. Where's the door? Oh, purple is the plasma gun. I'm stupid. I am very stupid. I did not realize that. How did I not realize that? Is there anyone else? Are you all too afraid? Ah, it was just taking its sweet ass time, I guess. <laughs> Fucking sick. Empyrean keys. You've acquired an Empyrean acquired an Empyrean key. To activate the maker device that unlocks the unmaker. Okay, well there's one of six. Who knows if I'll get them all. But uh feels good that I first tried the first one at least. Wait. Oh right. Dashes don't reset when they hit the ground, they reset on a timer, I forgot. Oh, there was no reason to do that, was there? <laughs> you could just walk through. Uh... Does grabbing that and then dying, does that, like, actually take a life off you? I can't remember. Let's find out. I have four extra lives right now. Now I have five. And I still have five. Okay. Awesome. It just resets you. That is very cool. <laughs> the betrayer's life signal is nearby. Oh good. I'd like to have a word with the betrayer. Fucking tool. Ah oh, shit, I missed something. God damn it. No, and it's going to be too high to get back, isn't it? Ah, oh, you piece of... Oh, never mind. I see. Or oh, never mind. No, I don't. Over there?
Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Opens as me. There are motion sensors and artillery everywhere. Oh, good. Hi, lasers. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. I have no fucking idea what you're on about, mate. <laughs> what? Pardon? Okay, there's a book upstairs. Is this something? This looks like something I can interact with, doesn't it? No? I can't I can't actually make any moves here. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> yep, there's not actually anything I can interact with, so let's push on up. The Betrayer. After years of prolonged war against the demonic threat invading their world, Argent de Neur launched an offensive strike across dimensions, sending their greatest warriors into the heart of hell itself. Despite their training and their preparedness, their honour was undone by deceit. Betrayal at the highest levels of command left Argent de Neur's bravest warriors cut off and scattered in the hellscape. But of those last remaining Night Sentinels, only one remained in Hell by choice. Betrayer of Argenta, it was Commander Valen who relinquished the keys to the elemental Sepulcher in return for his son's resurrection. Haunted by demonic visions, the image of his son's tortured existence plagued him without relent, the whispers of demons pushing him toward madness. In a moment of weakness, he fell prey to the demon's trickery, sealing the fate of Argent de and dooming the kingdom to which he swore a lifelong oath to protect. Valen chose exile in the hellscape for his sacrilege. What the fuck did we get here? The Dread Knight. Ah. A variation of the Hell Knight breed, the Dread Knight has been modified and hardwired for aggression. Armed with an exo-prosthesis powering energy blade augments, the Dread Knight is the lethal result of UAC cultist engineering. Epinephrine regulators modulate the Dread Knight with an unbroken flow of rage adult adrenaline while its endorphin receptors have been synchronised to respond with the use of its arm-mounted blades. With each kill, the Dread Knight is injected with a flood of artificial dopamine. As a result of its augmentation, the Dread Knight is, given, is driven by a biochemically engineered state of pure and broken rage, a suffering for which respite can only be found in the act of the kill. Going up. A chica pinte. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Okay. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. Appreciate it, my dude. Looks like we're gonna have another big old fight over there. Oh god. Oh, this can only go badly. We have to work our way around this tower, it looks like. Cheeky one up. Good. 
Good, good. Where am I going? I have no idea where I was supposed to go there. Oh, fuck. It sends you all the way back down here. Where was I supposed to go there? Was I just supposed to aim further that way? Hmm. Well, I fucked that. That's good. Oh. Really? Okay, just kill me. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. First try. Hello, fuckers. What are you? That is power-ups. Power-ups give you special abilities. Onslaught increases damage of each shot. Overdrive increases movement speed. Berserk allows players to instantly rip and tear any demon. Okay, I think I've got Onslaught. Increases damage of each shot. Let's have a look. Where are some enemies? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's increased damage. That is what we in the biz call increased damage. Fucking hell. And it's already gone. <laughs> Well, it was fun while it lasted, hey? Love that. Holy shit, let me kill you. Damn it. Thank you. Appreciate it, my dude. Is there any secrets to be had around here? It does not appear so. We got 9 out of 10. What was the one thing we missed? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, well. Oh, 15 out of 15 on the exploration. You love to see it. Oh, it was one secret combat encounter we missed. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so good. That is awesome. Oh yeah, XP for a fucking battle pass shit. I meant to click save and exit. Fortress of Doom. Oh well, we, I'm sure we can save from here. That was intense. Oh my god. Especially that purple key bit. I don't even want to imagine how hard those get. Like, that was number one out of six. <laughs> and that was probably the hardest encounter we've had so far. So, fuck. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we return here before we leave off for today. You can now find the remaining hell priests by activating your celestial locator. The second hell priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Sweet! The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Restore ship power.
sentinel batteries. Insert sentinel batteries into sockets within the Fortress of Doom to unlock items and power up parts of the fortress. Sentinel batteries can be found in missions or earned by completing all three of the mission challenges. Didn't know there were mission challenges. Huh. Okay. Bunch of places that we can go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tease you. That is where we're leaving it off for today, right before we put in this battery. I'm also kind of teasing myself by doing that, but that's okay. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time when we continue with Doom Eternal. Thanks for watching. See you then.